Hey, what up everybody? It's been a while since I recorded an episode, but uh, I'm back and better than ever. I've been really busy with life and work and all kinds of stuff. So, appreciate everybody like supporting me and uh, like joining me on this journey. Let's get it. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo war tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And Saul, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. I always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, <laughs> hop in. Everything is set. Don't mind me, I'm just trying. Okay. Oh, shit, yeah. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Anybody get this thing up and running earlier? Maybe you Everything ought to... Everything is dandy. Give me a moment. Not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? What the fuck are we flying? Nice and cozy in here. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. What? It's like a mystical oneness. Ever piloted anything like this? No. Why? Don't you trust me? Can I still get out? No. Then I trust you. If it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay, if you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay, this will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am, is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over soon. There, see? Okay, starting to understand what you meant. 
Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft ride. Seems a boat. Mm -hmm. She'll fly right over any bumps, all types of terrain. All right, I can see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. Hmm. All right. Way to do it. Nice. Right. Excellent. Now let's do some shooting. Stop and I'll activate the system. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Remember what I said about impulses? Mm hmm. Well, watch out now. What's happening? Hi, Jackton. Our nervous systems are now linked. Right. Basilisk pilots working in harmony. That why I'm feeling everything doubled? It's sensory feedback. Our systems are intertwined. Would you like to try it out? I could go for that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, yeah. No idea how people can focus in combat. Oh, it's probably not God. always this intense. How about this? <laughs> oh, Jesus. My dude's a beast. <laughs> oh no. Rated M for mature audiences. Oh, what is happening?
That was badass. All of us, each on his or her own, must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. I think I'm gonna go loot a little bit. Things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I've barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. Yeah. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. Hey, come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Aldecaldas. Always. Huh. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? All right with lemonade. Suit yourself. To happy endings. Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Pan Am, what are you? Stay in camp. Join us. It's really not that simple. You either want to or not. What's so complicated? That's the problem. What I want right now doesn't mean a thing. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought, eh, forget about it. Maybe once you move camp, we'll... What the hell just happened? V? Pan Am. I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember. I... We were talking. Then... Suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. Oh, V. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. 
What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, B, relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? To tell you the whole truth, I'm afraid things won't be the same between us if I do. V, listen to me. There is not a thing you could say to me that would change how... I mean, just cut the bullshit and tell me what's going on. You know, Johnny Silverhand. Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Pan Am, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not. It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Construct's more like a cancer, growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. I'm feeling better, really. Wait, I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? So you made yourselves at home already. We do have some experience in this. This is a good place. We have greater control over the area. The rest will settle in quickly. Much better now. Thanks for your help. I'm glad to hear it. Thanks, Mitch. But I'd better be going. Hey, You're barely hey. standing, V. You take care of yourself, okay? Remember, our offer still stands. If you need help, the all the caldos are here for you. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Thanks. Want me to walk with you? Yeah. Uh-huh. I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though. For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Hey! Welcome back to the land of the living. About time Sleeping Beauty decided to join us. Hey there. Hey. But you know, everything here, it is temporary. All of it. We will soon have to decide what comes next. V, back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks for everything. For being here for me. Take care of yourself. And let me know. 
Well, just please keep in touch. Oh shit, not good. Is fucking hurting, son. This car is badass. Make a love to the beat. Got over here.
hell? Oh, this is the night. Oh, hell yeah. Batman. Bro. Mm. Bro, what the fuck? This thing's nice. Filthy,
Jesus. Owie. I got hit by a car. Thanks. Raindrops keep falling on my head. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on, Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Um, bother us at doing what? We're exactly? talking about the cornerstone of my You'll platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. V, glad you could make it. Jefferson? Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Thank God. We've had a break in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. Sweet. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? Wouldn't you rather have a detective look into it? Facts. Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Hmm. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You okay. Know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Shall we? Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Hmm. Said you passed out. That's right. Just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Security looking at this, say anything? This is where things get a little weird. 
They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Hmm. Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Hmm. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V will turn something up. So, you've got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with... Who the fuck are you? Jeff's office. Control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Mm. Shut up. Hmm. 
You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Hmm. Sure thing. Me Batman. Oh, is that a closet? to focus, relax. Doesn't look it anymore. Security had to set up somewhere. One of the many small sacrifices I've had to make. This was the first, but it won't be the last.
Hmm. It looks like SSI's employees knew about the break-in. Six seven oh nine. Six seven oh nine. Broken. It was fine a couple days ago. We rarely use it, though. Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses. This is where we sleep. <laughs> blue roses. What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary, the bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Iron. This Jeff's? Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night.
Well, I'm real confused right now, to be honest with you. Vote for Perales. We are paying the staffers and for the campaign out of pocket. And we keep all the campaign stuff here. It's cheaper that way. Jefferson, come a long way. To get from Haywood all the way here, it's no easy thing. Yes. If you aren't born with a silver shard, your chances are slim. And if you're born in Haywood, they're almost non-existent. Seems a happy fam. That your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way. Hmm. Bullet holes. Caulked up. Someone tried to patch up the bullet holes. Assuming neither of you had anything to do with this. No, of course not. Discharge booster. Someone's been pulling all-nighters. Either of you use energy boosters? I don't. Not that I know of. Jeff, maybe? He works so hard. But it wouldn't be like him. He's always been against using any substances. Any? Nicotine's a substance. Jefferson has never smoked. Really? Could have sworn I've seen him smoking. Jeff? No, never. He doesn't go near the stuff. What?
Fresh fruit. Tasty by the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. There's some weird chem stuff in here. Enhanced food. It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Hmm. Will everybody? It was a sick album. Well, everybody, I'm uh, I'm done with this episode. I'm gonna try to figure out what the hell's going on here. When we come back, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, man. Make sure you like and subscribe. I really appreciate your time if you made it to the end, and uh, peace out.